you think product managers should run a P&L? I think it's very useful um, for the company and for the person to have that kind of financial responsibility of a product. Motivating people financially it becomes a competition and that can be good. And you have one product manager who's trying to do the best that they can with their product from a financial point of view. They might even ask to have their own quota, you know, have financial goals every year that are tied to compensation, bonus, or just keeping your job. Um, so I think culturally you have to find a company where that fits. And you know, at least the companies that I worked in New York, um, it was a fit, and people like that kind of challenge. I'm not sure if, if people who are more pure technologists will appreciate that challenge or not. Mm -hmm. But I, th you know, I do think that giving a product manager that set of responsibilities is good for everybody. And product management's done differently everywhere. I felt like there's a big difference between product management in the East Coast and product management in the West Coast. The East Coast is definitely much more numbers driven, um, less technology driven. Um, in the West Coast within technology, it felt like it was much more product centric, development centric, um, you know, sort of technical specifications type of work. Um, in New York, product management seemed much more like running a business. And I think that that experience is very good for a product manager because you feel the ownership. You know, I feel like if you're running a product, you ought to be the person who can answer any question about it. And that comes to internal questions of, so how's it doing? What are your margins? Um, you know, how are you compared to your competition? Not just in terms of what it can do, but how are you performing? Um, and so I think once you have that, when, once you feel like that's your responsibility, then it's a lot easier to have that product aligned with the goals of the business. I think if you're only focused on what should the product have, then it's very easy to get it, come up with a very interesting product that doesn't sell. That direct P&L experience can, it really also ties to your, to your willingness and, and appreciation to listen to you know, customers and to focus groups and to the feedback. I think that focus groups can be overrated. I think that in technology, it's hard because you're assuming that the people you're asking know the right answer. And if it's something new, it's hard to get that right answer out of someone who's never used it, never touched it. Um, so I think focus groups can be useful for testing messages to get, you know, as a sounding board. But in terms of getting someone to tell you how something should behave that they've never used, I think that's really challenging.